What's going on guys? It's Coach Michelle from Lucky 13 Fitness. So if you're somebody that's sitting all day long at a desk, a computer, in a car, there are a few things you need to understand about what that posture for long periods of time is going to do for your body. So if I'm sitting, what's going to happen is I'm in constant hip flexion. My hip flexors become tight and also in my upper body, I'm rounding through my shoulders, my head comes forward and I'm short, tight through here, and I'm long, loose back there. So what do we need to do if we spend our day in this position? We need to do the opposite of that. So we need to stretch the hip flexors, open up through the pecs, and strengthen the mid and upper back muscles, as well as the core, so that when you're sitting, you can do a better job of sitting like this at a computer versus sitting like this at a computer. And as always, you want to make sure you're taking regular breaks to get up, get out of that position, stretch. But these are going to be some of the exercises that you're going to want to focus on when you make time to work out and engage in a fitness routine. So I'm going to show you five of my favorite exercises today. The first one is simple body weight. We're going to get down on the ground in what we call a bridge position. So my upper back is on the, my whole back is on the ground. My upper body is relaxed. My feet are flat, and I'm going to draw my belly button into the ground, take a deep breath, push through my heels, and come into a bridge position. I'm then going to very forcefully squeeze my glutes as much as possible as I exhale. So exhale, come up into that bridge, and all the way back down. I'm going to do 10 of those, and then for the next set of 10, I'm going to come up, and keeping my knee in a 90 degree bend, I'm gonna go through a march on each leg and come back down. So up, march right, march left, and back down. And I would do 10 repetitions, 10 repetitions of the bridge, and then 10 repetitions with the march. Second exercise I'm going to do is something that I love called a reach back. Bring my heels back to, my hips back to my heels, extend my arms out, and push my palms actively into the ground in front of me. I'm gonna pick one arm to move and this other arm is gonna be locked out. Don't bend that elbow at all. Put my fingertips in my ears. I'm gonna reach my elbow into the opposite knee and then pressing this hand into the ground, exhale and rotate my body up to the sky. So I'm opening through that chest, bringing that elbow up to 12 o'clock on the clock, looking where I'm rotating and then coming back in. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale for 10 reps and then I'm going to switch. Inhale and exhale. So 10 on both sides. The third exercise, I'm going to use a dumbbell and I'm going to do what I call a three point row. Three points meaning the three parts of my body that are touching the ground or something is one hand and then two feet. I'm going to take a staggered stance, one foot, the foot with the, the leg um, that has the side with the dumbbell is going to be back. Grab that dumbbell, make sure my back is nice and flat, head is looking down, and I'm gonna pull my elbow into my hip and make a nice parallel line with my upper arm to my back. What I'm not gonna do is bring my elbow to the ceiling. So a big exhale, pull that elbow right into your hip. I would do 10, and then I'm gonna swap in the same thing. So notice that you can't even see my arm on this side. If I was doing it incorrectly, you'd see my elbow up there. I don't want to be doing that. The next exercise is called thrusters. You can do this on an exercise bench, but I'll show you right here on a chair, just in case that's all you have at home. So you're going to take your, your back and lean it up against that chair. You might want to put a pillow or a pad here to stay comfortable, but basically you're going to be right below your shoulder blades. Arms going to be out or they can be crossed in front of your chest, depends on if you're working with a bench or a chair. Set your feet up, knees bent, and we're gonna exhale and push, squeeze the glutes, and you're in a nice straight line at the top. Come back down and squeeze. You'll know that you're doing this right if you feel it in your glutes. You're gonna wanna shift your feet around a little bit though if you're feeling it in your quads or your hamstrings. So exhale, and that's for 10 repetitions, okay? And then lastly, what I have are what we call reverse flies. You can start doing these body weight, but then you can progress to a light weight. So for example, eight pounds. 
I'm going to stand straight up, push my hips back so that my back is nice and flat. I don't want to round it out or make it nice and flat. Looking down, I'm going to think about a bird flapping its wings and pull my shoulder blades back and together, activating the muscles of my mid and upper back. What I don't want to do is bend my elbows. This is not a bicep curl. So if you find that you can't keep proper form, drop the weight and just squeeze using your body weight and you'll feel it right in the mid back for 10 repetitions. That is a basic overview of a program for somebody who sits all day to help you undo that seated position and feel a little bit better and maintain better posture. Now, if you'd like a program that is more geared toward you and your exact lifestyle and your goals, please email me, michelle at lucky13fitness.com, and I'd be happy to have a chat with you. See ya.